guys, I would love to show you one of the most amazing hotels we have in Florida, Jules Undersea Lodge. To get to our room, we're going to need some special equipment. Let's go meet with Jeff and learn more about our stay. Hi, welcome to Jules Undersea Lodge. You're going to stay in tonight, so welcome. First of all, the, the hotel itself was made back in uh, the 70s and it was an underwater research facility offshore in Puerto Rico. In 1986, it was brought here, and it's been Jules Undersea Lodge ever since. We've had over 4,000 missions, as we call them. That means guesting the hotel. So follow me. Jules is located at the bottom of the Emerald Lagoon in Key Largo Undersea Park in Florida. As Jeff mentioned, although the underwater hotel may sound like the latest tourist fun spot, Jules began its existence as a research lab and underwater habitat. Sets of bubbles in the lagoon there, they are... The farther set of bubbles is the hotel itself, and it's just the overflow of uh, air. The nearer set is a marine lab. We have a resident marine biologist here at the lagoon named Chris Olstad, and he does actual science under there. So the habitat operations are monitored by a command van. The center is connected to Jules Undersea Lodge by an umbilical cable, which delivers fresh air, water, power, and communication. This is our command van, and most of these things are no longer functional because we really don't need them. We have far more sophisticated ways that we monitor the hotel right now. But we do communicate with you. In each of the three rooms in the hotel, there's a telephone. If I want to talk to you while you're down there, I just press these and I get a ringtone. If you want to talk to me, just pick up any of the three phones and uh, it will ring in here. And tonight, there will be someone in here sleeping all night long from 8 o'clock tonight until 8 o'clock in the morning while I'm home resting and I'll be back in the morning to, uh, to get you back out. We can monitor on this video screen uh, the moon pool and the moon pool only. We can hear you. If you come into the moon pool and speak, we can hear you and we can respond to the intercom here. And we can see you. None of the other uh, rooms has a camera. I don't know if you can get a good shot of this, but this is the inside of Marine Lab. Where, um, and Chris is obviously not there right now, or the lights would be on and we'd be able to see better. Jules is the first and only underwater hotel, but it's also the first underwater research lab to have ever been made accessible to the average person. The Undersea Lodge is located at the bottom of a protected lagoon. The authenticity of the underwater habitat is what really sets it apart. We'll probably use this as our entry point to get into the water since it's the easiest place to get in from. All right! I hope you guys are as excited as I am. Let's grab our gear and let's go! And the adventure begins! Diving through the tropical mangrove waters of the Emerald Lagoon towards Word's only underwater hotel is quite an experience. We first make a stop at the Marine Underwater Research Laboratory. It's an underwater lab devoted exclusively to research and education. In the early 70s, La Chaloupe Research Laboratory was the largest and most technologically advanced underwater habitat of its time. The Emerald Lagoon is a natural nursery for many reef fish. You can see juvenile fish and invertebrate animals that are not normally seen on the reef. At the bottom of the lagoon, you can spot the remainings of a Spanish shipwreck. And here it is! Jules under sea lodge! The entire structure of the undersea habitat is sitting up on legs 5 feet off the bottom of the protected lagoon. The lodge is filled with compressed air, which prevents the water from rising and flooding the rooms. We enter Jules through an opening at the bottom of the habitat. The feeling is much like discovering a secret underwater clubhouse. The moon pool entrance makes diving into the hotel like surfacing through a small swimming pool, and we find ourselves in the wet room, the center of our underwater living quarters. The wet room, as the name implies, is where divers leave their gear, enjoy a quick hot shower and towel off before entering the rest of the underwater habitat. Looks like our luggage has just been delivered. Let me change into some dry clothes and show you around. Here we are in the most amazing hotel in the whole wild world. 25 feet under the sea. Let's take a tour. 
Follow me. This is the kitchen area. We have a fridge, we've got a microwave, there's a TV, DVD player, books, music and video movies. Let me now show you the bedroom. Come straight through the hatch into the resting area. There are two bedrooms inside Jules' undersea lodge. Each room is equipped with air conditioning, an emergency phone, an intercom, a TV, DVD player, and, well, even internet. But the best are the comfortable beds where you can snuggle up and watch the fish visit your windows. Let's switch off the lights and observe the ocean for a while. We're basically in an artificial reef providing shelter for marine animals. Anemones, sponges, oysters and feather duster worms seem to cover every inch of this underwater world, while tropical angelfish, parrotfish, barracudas and snipers come peek through the windows. It looks like dinner is about to get served! Follow me to the moon pool to welcome back Jeff with our pizza order. dinner, it's time to relax and enjoy the sounds of the sea. Right. Good night you guys! See you in the morning! Good morning! This has been an amazing adventure to sleep on the water, listen to the fish and observe the tropical mangrove world. Waking up to angelfish looking in my bedroom windows is a moment I can never forget. It's time to go back to the surface and log our overnight dive of 22 hours. The Emerald Lagoon is a shallow water saturation dive. You can actually stay as many nights as you wish on the water as long as you surface at the proper diving interval. A big thank you to Jules Undersea Lodge team, Teresa, Tevi and Jeff for their hospitality and for looking after me.